what the hell, we'll turn it up some more. Damn, they got the heart rate. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Matt. It's been a hot minute since I've uploaded a video, but let's continue working on the 1.8 liter turbocharged Chevy Cruze project. And just real fast, one of the reasons I haven't uploaded lately is just because I needed to get my money right after everything that's kind of gone on in the past couple of years. You know what I'm talking about. Long story short, the business that I had, I kind of put that to the side and started another business. Things have been going pretty well. If you're into cars, you know it's not a cheap hobby. I'm by no means making Mr. Beast or Cletus YouTube money. It does help fund the project a little bit. However, now that I took some time to put into my business, put money back into this project essentially. I've got a lot of stuff lined up, but let's go ahead and have a little fun on the street, tune the car some more. There's an issue I gotta fix with it. The tensioner on the timing belt during this past winter started clacking and so we'll fix that real quick and we'll take it for a rip. Let's go. This thing has no tension on it. Like you shouldn't be able to do that by hand. And this thing is jacked. Well, I put the new tensioner on the car. It looked like it skipped a few teeth. The timing was a little off, is which why it shut down. However, hopefully nothing's messed up. I pulled the valve cover. Doesn't look like any valves were bent. Normally when they get bent, the buckets on top of the valves will stay down. That didn't look to be the case. So I think I looked out. Let's see, let's go ahead and try and fire this thing up. Now we can move forward. Let's go ahead and turn up the duty cycle on the boost controller, shall we? We'll have some fun with it. Let's go. Let's go beat on this damn thing some more and see what else we can break. <laughs> That's what it sums up to is just beating the shit out of this thing and see if it can, it can hold up. What else are you gonna do with the, a built engine in a car? not knowing what the limits are. I swear I haven't even got this thing on the dyno yet. I've done hundreds of pulls. Now she's back up and running. Let's toss a little fuel in her, E85, do some data logging, and we'll push it further into just maxing out the boost and uh, blowing this bitch up. Let's go. <laughs> safe spot in Mexico we'll do some runs or pulls because nobody likes the runs I think we can all agree on a pull though we got some of the driving stuff out of the way I'm just going to adjust my tune real quick we'll throw that in then we'll get to the fun stuff let's go just going to download this log guys have seen before this might take a minute okay logs all finished downloading I'm gonna go to O2 correction overlay let that work its magic there we go 8% in some areas it is a little warmer out today and I have been smoothing this map out quite a bit but I think we got some good data here. Just gonna do a little blending, smoothing. Not a whole lot to do here. We'll just uh, make this a new map. We're on number 59 now. A lot of work put into this. Save that. Write the ECU.
some girls. Let's do some fun stuff. Start her log. She's logging. take a look at the log and see how much we're pulling there to me that is plenty we'll turn it up on the dyno and at the track while I'm looking for a place to analyze this well I hadn't stopped just yet but looks like we're right at about 18 19 pounds See 
see what that was. Damn! She was on a rip. I, I let out, man. Uh, 28.09. where it let out because it's just hitting some new peaks we're hitting some new peaks well that was a lot of fun i've got some updates on the way i'm changing some of the hardware in the car that's going to completely change the way this thing drives and finally finally we'll get this damn thing on a dyno but i need to make these changes first <laughs> Say it, don't spray it, Matt. We want the news, not the weather. But be sure to stick around for that. Some really cool stuff that I'm going to test out. As fun as it is learning how to tune vehicles myself, which I feel like I've gotten pretty good at it after these past three and a half years working with this car. And I'm gonna hire some help, some professional help, get the car on the dyno. Perhaps I can learn a little something from this individual and we can finally put some power numbers down. Till next time, peace out. <laughs>